Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge for May 8th, 2017. And this is the first challenge that I'm doing on my new computer. Now, the downside of this is this monitor is 4K. And Dusters doesn't really, wasn't really designed with larger resolutions in mind, so I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that, considering my recordings are meant to be more of the casual kind. I don't want to have to change recording settings every time I go to record, whether it's switching it to Duskers or switching it off to whatever else, etc. Um, I did actually just do a Hitman recording that there was no video. It's just black. No apparent reason. Um, and I'll get that sorted out. But, yeah, for now, this is going to be really tiny, and I apologize for that. And this is, this is with the options set up to the maximum font size that you can do. So, I don't know. Um... There might be a scale option hidden in some text file or something. I'm going to try to figure that out. But for now, I want to go ahead and get to today's challenge. Looking at yesterday's leaderboard, though, LB took away the top score with the 7068. He started with a little bit extra drone health and was able to get a drone that I wasn't even aware existed in R7, which had the open room attached. By the way, I also haven't slept properly in quite some time because I was building this computer last night and when I get focused like that I tend to uh, tend to stay up. Looking at other scores we have Fat Man for Press at 765, Paper Beetle at 755, Mac Attack, uh, that's a new name, and PKCHP Express, Pokic Champ, maybe? At 705, Burning Ass Taco and myself scored a 700. Lodestar at 1 and scored a 685. Machine God scored a 680. And a Squeaky Penguin scored a 665. And all told, 29 people played yesterday. Let's go ahead and get into today's daily challenge. See, the leaderboards, tiny text. The menus, they're fine. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know why he didn't set up the same settings for the menus as the leaderboard, or leaderboard as menus. Um, I have the font size at 24. I hope that's readable. It doesn't affect your drones. It doesn't affect. We have remote and reroute power and sensor today. I just... It's strange what it does and doesn't affect. Actually, we have sensor. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. I meant to do begin, not that, but okay. Two infestation types. Would be really nice if there's... Oh, actually, I've got reroute. I've got remote, too, so that's good. I uh, had a ship scan. Oh, crap. I don't have my... Um, I don't have my... Alright, let's see what I can do with this. Lots of airlocks on this ship, so it should be pretty big. What was it again? A Muteki B. I will say, at this resolution, a lot of things do look rather crisp. The, the vector lines for the doors and drones look really nice. And I know that's not coming through as well on the version that you see, but... Uh, it does look really nice at this resolution. It's just... Four minutes. Okay. Four 
Four minutes. Decent chances to hit those rooms. And that's good and bad. Um, it should move into the room. Holy crap. Um, that's not really going to do much of anything, but... Oh, hey, look what I hear. Um... Gotta move things around as safe as you can. That was definitely a swarm in that room now. There you go. I do like my new keyboard. It's basically the same keyboard, it's just... I don't know. It's a little bit different. It's like the one thing that's a little bit different that I really do like here. Okay, um, I want to open D8, I want to open D25. Need to set up my aliases again. I know my two infestation types. That's not good. <sighs> okay, so I'm working from these rooms. Um... Okay, that's got to be clear, though. Okay, R8, 62% chance I've got one minute. One minute for R8. What's in R8? Nothing. Okay. Go ahead and close D25. Not much I can do from there. And without the safety of a little bit extra room, I am not going to risk moving into R6 if R8 could possibly be blown open. If it does get blown open, I don't know what I'll do about the the sentry. Okay, we're good. Okay. I expected that to happen, so... Get a partial view in a room. Okay, no vent there. Um, let's just go ahead and open D9. It's going to be annoying as it pops on and off, but... <laughs> OK, 
Okay, I don't have defense, and there's a destroyed terminal in R11, so guess what? I fully expect that... Yeah. Oh, nope. Listening on the right side. Sounds clear. <sighs> wow, everything's in R4 all of a sudden. That's destroyed, so it doesn't do me any good. But those will do me a little bit of good as I am able to check them. Let's not make the same mistake again. Twice, that is. Now there's still a sentry in R3 that I would like to do something with, if possible. And moving it into R4 is actually a not bad idea the only problem is I need to be sure there's no swarm in it. Kind of, I guess. Hmm. It's complicated. It's difficult. It's going to take some maneuvering. But I think it can be done. Got a drone. Got some flickering graphics. I don't know if that's because of the graphics card. Because there's a lot of stuff there. Because it's the end of the... Drones reach. There's a couple reasons that could be. More sensors. Um. Scan. Wow. That might be resolution related too. I think it's clear, but just in case it's not. I'm still trying to think of how to approach this. R4 is a great room to do that in. hesitated because of the gas hiss. I thought that was swarm.
Okay. That's as far on the ship as I'm gonna get. And... That also tells me I'm not going to get a defense command because it's on the destroyed terminal. Which is unfortunate. I would like to... Do that. Okay, so if they decide to move anywhere, actually not yet, open D16, open D20, Let's just let them move back and forth between 16 and 20. That'll give them a lot of leeway to work around. Actually, you know what? Fine. I'll just trap you all in one room. I just don't want you annoying me so much. So, what I need to do... That's unhelpful. What I need to do is... You know what? Actually... See if I can push them into 12 and even into R13 and just vent them. Let's do 14. 14's useless. <gasps> no, 14's not. Um... because I can actually ship scan R14 from here. Are you kidding me? trying to get them all in the same area. do that just as well from here anyway. Unfortunate, possibly.
That's actually extremely helpful. Because I can use it to radiate D23. Or through D23 into R4. Damn it! They're all moving. Ah. This new keyboard just types a little bit better is all. It's supposed to be the same kind of keys as well, but they're a little different, I think. Oh my god! What? That's just me antagonizing her. Alright, come on. What I think I want to do... You're distracting me, and I don't want to be distracted right now. I had it perfectly, not even that long ago. I had it, and I missed it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another... Son of a... I'm going to put another um, sensor in R4, and I'm going to irradiate R4. I'm going to move the sentry into... God damn it, I wasn't ready. Let's do this. Let's just do this, because I can. Um, so if I pre irradiate R4. Swarm are just annoying. There we go. You know what, I'm just going to leave them up there. They can't do any harm there. They're moving back and forth between a room that doesn't have a, a sensor in it. So, if I... Open that just to make sure there's nothing in there. There shouldn't be, but just in case. What? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-irradiate. I'm going to put a sensor in R4. I'm going to pre-irradiate R4. I'm going to move the sentry into R6. And I know from previous experience and overall, just overall experience, that when the sentry goes into R4, it'll stop at the door, of course. The door will be stuck open. It'll attack the sensor, and then it'll move into the room. Because it's coming in from the long side, 
it'll have room to move in, as it did earlier, and it'll just sit in the radiation. And from there, I can use ship scan. Haha! -ha! They're all in R14. Okay. Um. I can't pop it. That's. Ah. Destroyed a door, but it's a door that I'm not going to use. I guess I could have used it. That could have been fun. Open D24 and just vent them out that way. There. Now all the swarm are gone. Hopefully for good. <sighs> Lost video for Drone 1. That does not usually happen in the daily challenges. I have been playing for a little longer than usual, though. You are not helping. Oh, there it goes. So, I want to... Close D13. Open D23. R7's not a bad one either, actually. But I don't want it to be moving between the rooms when it happens, either. So that's definitely one way you could do it. Or if I can just lure it into R7. Is that something I want to do? Um... <sighs> They're both just off-center. R7 would definitely be the easier option. So... Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to open 27. That's going to let it out. I don't want to open 26 because it will get stuck in the door. And I don't want to have 23 open at the same time. Especially because I've already had it open. That's a proof of concept. So my original thought would have worked. R7, R7 is just simpler. Now the door can't close, but once it's done destroying it, it'll move into the room, the door will close, everything will be fine. And double check that, but I was very confident in it. And then it's going to do the same thing if I open D23. Wow, my timing. Because they do have to move within range, that means that it's going to be right there at the right time. Nothing yet. So it's going to move into the center of the room. Which is right where it says R7. There's one scrap. The good news is one strap's going to get me 20 points, and it is right in front of the door. The bad news is it's one scrap, and I'm going to take damage for it. And by god, I just noticed my drone health. I always do that. I don't look at my drone health.
Okay, took one hit for five points. That's bad. But got one scrap, which is worth another 15. Well, another 20, but 15 after the five points of damage that I took. Um, lots of people probably would have been able to do that. Sometimes the destroyed gener or destroyed terminals are not destroyed on other runs. There's a, I believe there's a chance there. So it's possible you'll find one that does have defend or def defense. Uh, also, the, the commands are not random, but semi-random. So there's some opportunity there. If all else fails, I got one scrap from the drone. So there's an opportunity for even more after that. With one, two, three, four, five generators on a 13 room ship. It counts to 14 because it counts your boarding ship as number one. On a 13 room ship, that is not a lot of rooms per generator. And. Am I doing the math here right? No, yeah. Th three generators with three rooms and two generators with two. Um, so there's a lot of things that can go weird and you're not going to have much reach. Uh, so if you get ship skin, do the best you can. And if you don't, then unfortunately that is the random dice roller that is Duskers. Total score of 960 could have pretty easily been 1,000. Um, if I had defense, I could have gotten five more on top of that. There was no fuel. I found the fuel. There was no fuel. There's one ship upgrade, one drone upgrade. Starting score of 500, no, 450 for me, uh, which is an extremely low score. Actually, it's the lowest you could start with possibly is 440, so it's almost the lowest you can start with. Total of 23 scrap, which is thanks to getting a big ship scan. R6, you can't ship scan, but still, lots of scrap in there. And, yeah. Interesting, if relatively simple ship. Just one that I had to chew through a little bit. Right now, that is the top score, which means that other people may not be getting a very convenient ship scan. Uh, I have a 960, Burning Ass Tacos a 905, Dano 416, 845. LB 800, as well as Darguard, Ash White 720, and Clutch Karma at 160, which means he ran afoul of the Swarm. Um, definitely no way that someone would start with lower drone. <laughs> well, you know, very small chance that someone might start with lower drone health than I did. Uh, so that's not the difference in the scores here, so it must almost entirely be ship scan. That said, if I had defense. Pardon me. If I had defense, I could have just killed everything. So unfortunately, it is what it is. Uh, but if you haven't done your own run yet, good luck. Again, there's plenty of opportunity on this ship, as well as a little bit of challenge. If you have done your run, leave a comment. I'd love to hear of your own experiences, good or bad, and your strategies for approaching this ship with slime, or, sorry, swarm and sentries. Uh, still want to find an S word for the, the crystalline looking things. Um... Just, just to get the, the Slime Swarm Sentry blank setup going. Because uh, that won't confuse me at all, I'm sure. Uh, if you would like to check out other Dusters playthroughs, you can see Marvin, Copper, Deno416, LB, and Noxitney linked in the video description. If you enjoyed the video, do please like. If there is no video, I'm sorry. I did several test recordings beforehand and they recorded video, but not for Hitman, so I don't know what's going on, but they did record for Duskers, uh, so there should be video. If there isn't a video, I put these up anyway, just for the audio, um, and I apologize for that. If you enjoyed the video, or lack thereof, do please like, and have a good day.